This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Text Logo Animation. As always, I'm using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, and my frame rate is 60. Let's keep the duration 10 seconds. Now the first step is to create a new solid layer. Let's call it Background, and use this dark violet color for this. You are free to use any color you want. Now go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. I'm using this modern word for now. Eject from the typing box, and then align your text into the center. Please note, I'm using this font, which I don't know how to pronounce. Also, my font size is 300 pixels by the way, you can download this font from the link in the description. Now we need all the letters on their separate layers. So instead of typing the whole word together, I'm going to use only a single letter. So select these letters, and delete them. And here we have only one letter. Now right click on your text layer, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it letter M. And then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets and search for the radial wipe. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. We are going to use the transition completion for animating this transition. So make sure you are at the first frame, and then add a keyframe on the transition completion. Here change the value to 100%. Then go to the 1 second position, and change the transition completion value to 0%. And this is how the animation will look. Not bad. Now select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Now I'm going to make multiple copies of this text layer, so that we can distribute them at different timing. Select your text layer, and make a duplicate of it. I'm going to place this top layer a few frames to the right, so that it will start appearing after a few frames. Right now, I cannot see any difference in the text layer, because of the same color. Let's select the bottom text layer, and then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fill effect. Place it onto the layer, and then change the fill color to a different one. Let's keep this red-pink color. If you check the animation now, you can see the difference. You can always adjust the timing according to your requirement. Nice. I like this one. Let's make one more duplicate of it, and place it to the right. I'm not changing the color of the top layer, because it is going to be the text reveal layer. Select this bottom layer, and apply a fill on it as well. Let's change the color to this yellow, and this is how it looks. Of course, you're free to use any color you want. I'm just showing you the way, the destiny is yours. Now make one more duplicate of this bottom layer. Select this bottom layer, and then we are going to delete all the effects from it. So go to the effects control tab, and delete the radial wipe, as well as the fill from it. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the Vegas. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the blend mode to transparent. As well as, change the segment value to 1. Now change the hardness value to 0.5, and it will make the stroke visible. We will use the rotation for animating this stroke. So go to the first frame position, and then add a keyframe on the length, 
and the rotation. Here change the length value to 0. Then go to the 1 second position, and change the length value to 0 0.7. Also, I am changing the first rotation value to 1. Now the stroke will start rotating with our text layer. In case you want a different look, you can always play with the random seed values. Make sure to activate it from here, and then change the value which suits your design. This looks good to me. Now press U to reveal all keyframes, and then grab this and keyframe of length, and place it on the 15th frame. Then go to around one and half second position, and change the length value to zero. So that the stroke will disappear around our text. Now select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Let's move to the next step. Before moving to the next step, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download, After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, web templates, and more. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description. The first letter is done. Now we are going to make the second letter. But here is a problem. If you make a duplicate of this text layer, let's call it the letter O for now. If you try to change this letter to a different one, it will automatically replace all the layer's texts with this one. Because the source of this comp is the same as the previous one. If this was hard to understand, let me know in the comment section, I will make a different tutorial on this topic. As you can see here, we cannot easily change it with another letter. So instead, let's undo that first, then go to the project panel, and then select your text composition. Now make a duplicate from here, and then call it the letter O, or any other name which you want. Now go to your timeline, select all your text layers using the shift key on your keyboard. And then make a duplicate of it. Now grab any of the selected layers, and place them on top of all layers. So now we have the duplicate of the first letter. Before unselecting any layer, press and hold the Alt, or Option key on your keyboard. And then grab this letter O layer, and place it on the letter M. It will change the source of this layer, and these layers can be changed independently. The benefit of doing this step, we already have the animation applied to these layers, we just need to change the text letter to the different one. Now open the letter O, and then replace this text with another one. Switch back to the main timeline, and now you can see we have the letter M, as well as the letter O. Let's select these letter O layers, and use the shift, plus arrow key, to place it like this. I'm also going to place the layer position to the right, so that it will start after a few frames. Not bad. But the thing is, these text layers look similar. For creating a different look, we need to change each letter value to a different one. For example, I am changing the Vegas stroke color to a different one, as well as the color of the layer. I am randomly changing the color of these layers. You're free to use any color you want. Let's change the stroke color to blue as well, so that it will look similar to the design. Now, I'm also changing the random seed value to a different one, so that the stroke will appear in a different position. Let's select this layer, and change the wipe to counterclockwise. I am doing the same with this bottom layer as well. If you check the animation, it will have a different look from the previous one, which we need. By following the same steps, 
we can create more of these layers. Let's quickly create more layers, and complete the whole word. I'm fast forwarding this step to save some time. For this tutorial, I'm just using the mode word only, because it is going to take a little more time to make the complete word. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Make sure to change the values with the different one, so that each letter look different. Let's add the bounce animation to the letter. Don't worry, we don't need to apply the animation on all of the layers, we just need one layer of each letter. So first, open the letter M layer, here select the layer, and press P, to open position. Then go to the 8th frame position, and then add a keyframe on the position. Now go to the first frame, and then change the Y position value of it. I am keeping it around 390 pixels. If you check the animation, it will be a basic animation. So I am going to apply this expression to this text layer. You can download it from the link in the description. Simply copy it. Now press and hold the ALT, or OPTION key on your keyboard, and then paste this expression right here. In case the expression is showing you an error, then simply go to the file, and then down at the bottom, click on the project setting. Here open expression, and change the expression engine to legacy. Hit OK. And now this is how the animation looks now. Not bad. Let's zoom in a little, and then bring the end keyframe closer, to make the animation a little faster. Now the bounce effect is looking much better. You're free to use any speed you want. Now select this position, and then copy it. Then open the letter O layer. Go to the first frame, and then press P here paste the position values which we have just copied. Do the same with all the layers, and everything is going to work fine. Switch back to the main timeline, and check the animation once again. And now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.